with advice. You set yourself little goals along the way, and just to get through the first couple of weeks, it's pretty hard. Scans revealing a seriously torn ACL, a devastating blow to Frio and their young gun, who is already considered one of the club's most important players. And he's a great kid, and we're going to miss him, but we're all going to get around him and uh, he'll be back better, bigger and better next year, I'm sure. But from bad news, a positive. Hazeby says his stint on the sidelines with a knee injury made him a more complete person and player. For a brief moment on Saturday, some panic. Hazeby fearing the worst when Adam Goods landed on him. Yeah, that went through my mind straight away. The, uh, the whole leg just sort of went numb, similar to when I did hurt my knee. But uh, quickly got up and I was very relieved it was only my car. The midfielder saw and forced to jog laps today. It's been a while since his last derby appearance. The pre-season game where his knee buckled. I'm very excited. It's been a long time. But, um, you know, we've had a good record over West Coast. But it counts for nothing. But our team's certainly a lot different. And theirs has changed as well. The Dockers motivated by Matthew Pavlich's 200th game. But it'll take more than a milestone to earn bragging rights. Um, you know, you do say you'll try to step up, but at the end of the day, this football club's one and four, and we need to uh, show the sort of commitment that we did last week. And, if, you know, if we don't do that every single week, it's a damn shame, I feel. And while the wise men of the East usually enjoy a Frio bashing, the big boss of the AFL can see plenty of light at the end of the Dockers' tunnel. But this club is on the march, and it's got a very young list, and if people are patient, they'll be a real contender at, at a point in time. It's just the way the, our system operates. The return of Hayden Ballantyne slowly approaching. Des Headland still weeks away. Chris Mayne may not play until mid-year. Lockie Reed, 10 News.